Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of my video blog series. I'm your host Nick Renard and today we are going to be talking about something that Google recently rolled out with uh, called expanded text ads. Uh, I'll get into explaining these here so let's just uh, go ahead and get started. Alright so here's some of the advantages and the, uh, the the new expanded text ads. These are actually something that were in beta for oh, actually not that long. They were supposed to be in beta all the way until 2017, but they had an early release, so I'd imagine that they they worked out all the kinks and everything a lot earlier than expected, and um, you know the testing that they did went well. So yeah, they're out and they're live now. Um, what they are is a new way to write your text ads within the editor. Uh, the way that you've written your ads in the AdWords editor has remained pretty much the same for years and years now so they're really excited to roll this out because it is a brand new way of writing ads so let's go go ahead and go over some of the, fe the features here the main feature and what is going to most of the advantage are, uh, advantages are going to fall under this feature is that there's significantly more room to be writing ad copy uh, there's actually almost 50% more room to be writing ad text, which is pretty significant. Uh, that's good for a, a few reasons. One, it pushes your competitors further down, down the page. This is very important in these uh, these first, well, it's August now, so I know that early 2017 they're not allowing you to use the old ads anymore, so that's anywhere from like, you know, three to eight months let's say in this time frame right now if your competitors haven't updated their ad copy to the new expanded text ads which are, there, there's an extremely high likelihood that they haven't done it yet um, if, if they haven't done that yet and your ads are 50 percent bigger than every other competitors ads I know that they uh, they talk I, I talked with one of our uh, our senior Google reps about this in the tests that they did of showing the old ads against the new ads you can see actually I'll jump down on this third bullet point here it says that uh, the their internal studies have shown up to 12 percent increase in click-through rate with the new ads now that 12% is comparing the new ad to the old ad so once everyone's updated that 12% is going to be significantly higher than what it'll actually be but the truth is is that the new ads are going to have a higher click-through rate so as an advertiser why wouldn't you want to take advantage of that um, even once everybody everything's equal and everyone's running with the expanded text ads it still pushes the organics further down the page so if you are bidding on keywords where maybe you're the only person that shows up under paid ads or maybe there's you know another one person or two people showing up uh, it still pushes or those organic rankings down further makes your ad bigger makes it more likely to click on you can see the the second bullet point on this uh, or subscript bullet point on this first bullet point says bigger ad equals higher CTR uh, yeah, so that's all pretty straightforward. Uh, one of the things that I like about it is uh, the third bullet point here says more opportunities for creating uh, or for creative ad writing. I have an example here of asking and answering questions within ads, which is something that I really like to do. I found that to be pretty effective for uh, certain products and services for clients. What I mean by that is uh, if you're let's say you're promoting like a, a summer apparel sale or something like that you could pr propose a question like you know getting ready for summer or let's say you sell like school supplies for kids you could say like you know late on getting kid back to school stuff or something you know some kind of question like that I'm just coming up with examples off the top of my head so they may not be the greatest but uh, you get what I'm saying and then in the following uh, description line you can sort of answer that question so that way if you know that most of your customers kinda of go through the same process of oh I need this so I need to go do that uh, you can you can do that in a question answer sort of form and having up to fifty percent um, more ad copy just gives you so much more room to be writing those because you used to have to um, you used to have to squeeze that in with the uh, the old formatting which is pretty tight so yeah uh, another advantage here, they're already optimized for mobile. They actually came out with these because of mobile. 
uh, they, they work on both mobile and desktop, and they found that having bigger headlines uh, increases the click-through rate on mobile significantly, which is why now instead of only having one headline, there's two headlines like this, or uh, headline one and headline two, and both of those actually show up in the, uh, in the ad itself. Uh, yeah, it's pretty cool. Um, bigger headlines, again, it's, uh, it's more of a mobile thing, but... Um, you know, users are kind of transitioning more from uh, desktop to mobile devices. So these are definitely, if, if you are targeting uh, mostly mobile users or if you're mobile first on whatever you're trying to sell, you definitely want to get on this as soon as possible. Uh, yeah, and we already went over the third note here. So I wanted to show you uh, what the formatting of the old ones versus the new ones look like look like so here's a blown up version of both of them you can see the old formatting on top here we only get one headline that headline is 25 characters long with the new formatting we actually get two headlines and both of those headlines are 30 characters long so that means that the old one had 25 characters and the new one has 60 characters combined that's a pretty big increase it gives us a lot more room to be writing in the headlines um, some people have like really long brand names or um, you know whatever just that the, their keyword terminology can use long words like uh, communication is a really long word to try and squeeze into a headline so this gives you more breathing room to be able to do that um, the description lines it actually merged the description line into one description line and you still get more characters out of it. So the, with the old formatting, we got two description lines, so you had to break it up between the top line and the bottom line. Now there's only one description line. This is something that you used to, uh, or actually uh, Bing does it this way, where they have one description line, where I think the character limit's like 72 or something like that. Uh, now with Google, they're, they're kind of doing what Bing does, where just keeping it simple with only one line. Uh, makes it a little simpler because sometimes you're writing your first sentence and you have a long word that you know trails past the 35 character limitation now we don't really have to worry about that we can just write it all in one sentence and on top of that we also get 10 more characters so yeah it's uh, the the new formatting is strictly better in in terms of both the headlines and the description lines um, the way they did the display URL the display URL is also strictly better with the new formatting than the old formatting. With the old formatting you had to have, uh, you only got 35 characters and your website uh, had to fit within those 35 characters. Um, normally with a display URL the point of these is to be able to uh, make your website look like it's something that it's not. So let's like Let's let's pretend that we own a, a website called www.shoes.com and we sell shoes online. Well, we we probably sell a bunch of different kinds of shoes. So let's say like high heels is one of our departments. What we can do is if we if like leather high heels, <laughs> it's a great example. If leather high heels is a category where we make a lot of sales in, what we can do with our display URL is we can make it look like it says www.shoes.com slash leather slash high heels. Uh, putting those keywords within the display URL has proven to give higher click-through rates, which is one of the reasons why we, uh, in terms of best practices for uh, writing ad copy, will always say to make sure that you're using uh, the keywords that are being triggered within your ad group also in your ad copy, and you also want those keywords to show up on your landing page. Um, this is kind of the same, is the exact same strategy, but they're doing it in the display URL. Uh, one of the problems that always frustrated me with the old formatting is since we only get 40, 35 characters, sometimes just the name of the website would be more than 35 characters if people had a really long website name. So you wouldn't really get much room with with uh, with certain people to be able to write anything at all. Um, yeah, so if, if your www.nameofyourwebsite.com was, let's pretend like that, that alone was 27 characters, that means that you only get, you know, however many more characters until you hit that 35 character limit uh, to write. And so it doesn't, it, it, a lot of times it can't give you, it doesn't give you a lot of room. Now with the new formatting, the way that it works is it just automatically inserts whatever your uh, your domain is automatically. And that doesn't count towards the character count. Um, so that means that 
uh, well, I'll just go over. What they did is they, they broke it up into two things called paths. They have path one and path two. And it'll automatically insert the domain in the beginning, and then you can do a backslash path one, and then a backslash path two. So like in the shoes example, path one would be leather, and path two would be high heels. So the website will show up as www.shoes.com slash leather slash high heels. Now, that's cool because the, the, the length of our domain doesn't... Uh, doesn't hinder us from being able to write more or less. We just get those two 15 character slots automatically. So even though it looks like that the old display URL gives us 35 characters and the new URL gives us two or it gives us a total of 30 characters, sounds like the new the new formatting uh, is less, but it's actually more because it it already includes the domain. So anyways, I think that's pretty straightforward. Uh, but yeah, overall between the headline uh, the description lines and the display URL in every single spot on that ad you can see that we get more ad copy which which gives us huge advantages over our competitors um, especially right now uh, that you know they're still running the old ad copy if you can if you can get your ads updated then you have a big advantage these next few months so yeah jump on it um, next thing I want to go over here I want to show you this in the AdWords editor really quick it's actually gonna look a lot like this but I just want to make sure you you know where to find this in your editor uh, you can also do this in the uh, the browser itself uh, I recommend doing all changes within the editor so here you have your editor the first thing that you need to do is you need to update this and I put a link in the blog at the at the beginning uh, of a link to the the new um, the new AdWords editor, the, the new updated version of it. So go ahead and uh, make sure that you're updated and click on whatever campaign it is that you want to create an ad for. So let's do this one here. And if we go under ads, it'll show up uh, right. Originally, there was only one that said text ad here. Now there's another one that says expanded text ad. Now if we if we if we create a new text ad right here, you can see the formatting that you saw. I'll go ahead and expand this a little bit. The formatting that we saw before with the uh, 25 character headline, so it's 25, 35, 35, 35. With the expanded text ads here, it's the exact same process. It's really 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 easy. You just hit plus add expect, expanded text ad here, and then again you can see that formatting with the 30 character, 30 character, 80 character and then the double 15s on the uh, the display URL here so yeah uh, this is this is really straightforward I don't really have to explain it too much but um, you know if we're buy leather shoes online if we're uh, you know get great deals this summer look hotter than all your friends shop online today uh, you know it, there's just so much room to write that was only 55 characters and I feel like I wrote like multiple sentences there and then you know we can do the same thing with the path here where we do path one is like leather uh, and then high heels and so that way when you see the ad you can see the double headline how buy the buy leather shoes online get great, great deals this summer that headlines much much bigger than it would have been being the only the uh, the 25 characters like this ad here that you see and then we still get more ad copy in the description line and then we get that path one and path two to show the the leather and high heels and when people see that in their head when they look up their keyword and they see the keywords that they put into their search query into they see that in the ad and bolded with and highlighted within the ad itself uh, the likelihood that they're going to click on that and that you get higher quality scores is going to be significantly better so yeah that's uh, that's pretty much all I had for today I hope you guys enjoyed this video I recommend that you get the expect expanded text ads updated for uh, your company as soon as possible and I will plan on seeing you guys in my next video blog thanks for watching